Hey, what's up everybody? Eduardo Talbert here with Monster Tutorials. Today we're making a horror ornament and we're making these. Spider victims. So join me in the studio. Well, join me at the table over there and let's get started. Let's get started. We need a little mini skeleton and a glove to begin with. And we're going to use the same glove corpsing method that we used in the coffin uh, tutorial. If you haven't seen that, I've linked it below. Cat out. So this is for the head. These two fingers are pants for the legs. And these two are the arms. Now we're going to dress him with that stuff and then shrink it with the heat gun. Now the corpsing doesn't have to be perfect because he's going to be covered in spider web. Put a drop of hot glue on his head just to hold it in place. And put his little hat on. There you go. And we can glue this to the back. The head is encapsulated now. Put some pants on this guy. And glue it in place too. some fancy pants on. You can glue the front too. Now let's do the arms, same thing. Slide it in. This extra you can wrap it around like that. Let's get a drop of glue right here on the ribs. Take this excess right there and the same with this side. All this will shrink, so it doesn't matter. Got a little extra hanging out like that. All right, one more arm. This guy is totally dressed. Now we're going to shrink wrap him. We're going to need a, a heat gun. So let's shrink wrap him. I have my windows open for ventilation. I'm going to glue the two legs together because I want it to be like a cocoon like that and not with his legs spread open. There you go, a little more heat. And this guy is totally corpsed, as you can see. The more heat you put, the stringier it gets, but you start losing some plastic. I think that looks cool because you can see some of the ribs. I'll leave it like that. So now we're going to stain it. I am using this cognac wood stain and a Q-tip. And all I do here is cover the whole skeleton with that color. And I'm only staining where there's plastic. Right here on the bones, I'm gonna leave it like that because it has a nice cool bone color. All right, we have a nice creepy looking skeleton there. Now we're going to wipe it, wipe the excess with a paper towel.
you don't have to wipe it all the way you can be very random and leaving some parts with heavy stain and some parts with the lighter stain and we're done with this step let that dry this little dude is nice and dry so for this next step I'm going to use some of this uh, spider web right I have some open right here but first I'm going to take a little piece of wire and make a little loop around the legs because it's going to hang upside down. Put in both legs through the loop then closing it on the back and twisting it. And that gives me a little loop right here. See it? There it is, where we can hang the ornament. Okay, so now take a little strand of your spider web, just a tiny little bit, like this, and just cut some of it out. trick here is to spread it real well as wide as you can all right I am going to make the human burrito with this guy make sure that it spreads almost as tall as he is and if it doesn't then do it diagonal so it covers all of that guy and to hold this in place I'm going to start with little drop of hot glue if I can get that off my hand little drop of glue on the back of the head maybe some here on the booty and on the legs and this is just to get this thing started like that all right now spread it and start wrapping this guy around keep wrapping and spreading you get towards the end you can probably put a little drop of glue something very little and glue it there drop right here take the web and put it around Now you can wrap it as much or as little as you want to depending on the effect that you want. I like to wrap it so that you can still see that it's a person and you can still see some of the ribs. Now the trick here, here's the secret that most people stop right here. Take your heat gun and lightly shrink the spider web. This spider web is plastic, just like uh, plastic bags, just like this material. This is just a plastic and plastics will shrink with heat. So we can shrink this. Let me zoom this in. Take the heat gun and lightly shrink it all. See how it starts shrinking? Look at that. And if you burn it too much, wrap some more makes it look more decayed and also you don't have those little flyaway little pieces that don't look like real spider web. And for the last step, these are called spider confetti. They are these tiny little spiders. They're about that big, but they're like 3D. They're not like, uh, like flat, they're pretty cool. So I'm going to glue those in different parts of our victim. Put a drop of glue on the spider. Put one on the head. There you go. Let's put one right here. And three on the front.
There you go. Spider victims. See that? See that? That's how you make little spider victims. So if you think this is a cool horror ornament, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to share it with somebody if you think this is cool. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.